Hey guys, so today I'm sharing how to transfer your whole cake onto a plate. So this was just requested from one of my subscribers through um, Instagram. So thank you so much. I just have whole cake in a fridge. It doesn't happen all the time. So I thought it's a great timing. I can show that to you. So let's get started. So to transfer the cake, today I'm using a spatula like this. You can use a bigger one or smaller one depending on the size of the cakes and just by your preference. And you can also use a offset spatula like this. All right. This is a chocolate strawberry show cake, general sponge cake. It's very fluffy and delicate, so it's perfect for this tutorial. Watch this video to learn how to make this cake. A link is below. I usually don't like to hold around here because then I can't really place nicely um, by holding here close to the blade. You can really add the pressure. You can really feel like this is the part of your hand. Probably one of the most important tip is press this spatula with really good pressure as you go under the cake. So one of the mistakes is that your spatula is not completely touching the ground and you kind of, as you go, scrape off the cake right here. Let's say this is a cake. When you insert your spatula like this, after you transferred, it's definitely a lot harder to pull off your spatula. You're gonna have a struggle a little bit. I usually go like this. Press it down and like go like this. Not like this, but like go like this. Go under, see? After you insert the tip, when I feel it is not inserted enough or when I want to adjust the position, I move the handle like that and a spatula slides in easily that way. And then lift it up. Don't lean it over a lot because then this part is gonna get squished or your cake might not hold the shape if that is a very fragile cake and your hands go under the gap like this. Your hand and spatula kind of look like a V or X. But if you're holding like this, your kick could drop to that side or you know, even this side, this side. Job for this hand is really support the spatula and hold the balance of the cake. Feel that you are holding the balance well, great. And then it's time to lift it up. Okay, lift it up and then slowly land. Uh, when you do this, place the cake board or cake plate right next to you or somewhere really close, which is gonna decrease the chance of you dropping the cake. Make sure this is on the very center. And once your cake is almost landed, now is the time to pull off your hand, okay? Like this. Pull your hand, okay? And then, don't forget, Push really tight, push it down with really good pressure, and then put it off. If you don't add a pressure, it's not touching the ground. Do this, you're gonna drag your cake. So make sure to press with really good pressure until this spatula is touching the ground completely all the way, and then pull off. So if you need to, you can use your boss hands like this, and then pull off. So my last crucial tip is not to use a sticky or most fragile side of the sponge as the bottom since it can stick to the turning table or spatula and make this process a lot harder. I usually use the bottom side of the sponge, that way you can share the slices much easier too. So I'm transferring the cake from the turning table to a cake board this time and let's review all the 10 tips again.
if this is not on the very center, lift this up a little bit and move the position. So when you want to transfer your whole cake onto a plate like this, which is um, the edge is curved, a lot of times it's difficult to pull off the spatula um, depending on the size of your cake. So when you feel it's going to be difficult, you can place the cake on a cake board first and then place it on top. All right, that's it for today. It was nice and short. If you like uh, tutorials like this, please let me know on the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Keep baking and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.